Hello everyone, my name is Reza Rad uh, from Radacad and I'm going to show you today a new feature, a new interesting feature of Power BI service which you can use to share your reports and dashboards uh, with the selection of filters and slicers. Previously you had uh, you've been able to only share reports and dashboards uh, just with the general configuration. Now you can select filters and slicers, like different views of your report, and you can share it with others. This feature just released yesterday, and it's an important feature of Power BI service, I think. Let's have a look how this feature works. So look at my screen, I have a number of dashboards. Obviously this feature doesn't work on a dashboard. If I click on a sharing item on a dashboard, I don't get the option to do that or even if you look at list of your reports and you start sharing from the list of your reports here if you click on share button here you still don't see this option this option is only available when you are in the report and you have selected some items so let's go to the report i'll open this report this is a report that has some um, data in it and uh, here i have the option to whenever i click on share i have the option to share the report with current filters and slicers. This is the new feature added just for reports. Now let's see how this works. Um, I select for example the business category of these books and I go to share and I select share reports with the current filters and slicers and I enter a user email here uh, and I share. Now the thing is that when I share it this way, this will create a different link. This will create a link that has a bookmark in it. Behind the scene it's a bookmark created, but you can see that bookmark separately in bookmark section. Uh, it's a link that uh, is specifically for this view of the data. Uh, in your uh, email address, in the user email address, they should receive that link and they should be able to just follow that link, click on that link and open this report. Uh, so while I'm waiting for this uh, link to appear in my email, uh, which actually apparently appeared just right now, so here is the link, uh, and I can click on that link, and uh, because I want to open it in another browser, I just call copy hyperlink, and I go to my other browser here, and I paste that link here. Uh, you just can basically click on that link as a user and then you will see that report. Now this report is opening for me. It is shared with me and opening with me with the selection that was there. So you can see that this is showing me only books under the type of business. So I have one view of data which is showing me uh, only business books. And I can actually uh, have this to create different views. I can, uh, as a person who created this report, I can go and select, let's say, psychology books under these, let's say, three stores. And then I share it again. This time I can share it again with the selection of this and with another set of users. So you can select users and share this link with them. This link will be the link that they can use to access <clears throat> this report with this view. Now, there are a few things about this. First, a uh, user have to use that link sent to them through email. They can go to the shared with me section of the Power BI service. They will see this report, but if, I, if they click on it, they will not see that uh, default selection before sharing it. So that default view, that view is only available through that link because that link has the um, uh, bookmark ID and things like that. So the best is for users to bookmark this uh, link in their browser somewhere that this is the view of the report that they want. Also, if you want to manage this, uh, manage this access somehow, uh, you can go to your Power BI uh, report as a report creator or as a person who actually shared this report. I can go there and I can click on the sharing. Now I want to manage different views. I can go to the sharing and under the access section, I would be able to see this part which is saying manage shared report views, which I can click on it and it will show me that I have a customized view created for this. Um, um, it took a little bit of time to come through. Let me go through it again. So in the share section, 
access manage shared report views and here you can see there's a link here with a bookmark uh, GUID it has an expiration usually it's 90 days uh, you can delete that link if you don't want to you can create more links and this basically gives you a way that you can have different views of your report for different personas. This is nothing to do with security. Some people think that this is security. No, this is nothing to do with security. I have written about role of security in a set of blog posts. You can go and check that out. This is only creating different views with the default selection of slicers and filters for users uh, for different personas. You can create a number of report views and share it with others. This can be used for like uh, having one single report, but different default view for other users. Uh, it's a very new feature. Uh, expect to have a lot of updates on this feature, but really great feature in Power BI Service. Go and check it out. And if you have any comments um, or if there's a scenario that you want to use this reporting feature and this sharing report feature of Power BI Service in it, Put it in a comment below. I have written a blog post about this as well. You can check it. The link is down below. If you'd like to know more about Power BI, just go ahead and subscribe to your uh, YouTube channel or go to Radicat website and read articles about Power BI. Thank you.